And thank you so much. Now we're going to go to News on Six's Kristen Weaver, who is at Josh Burkeen's watch party in Durant. Kristen? Well, Craig and Lori, like you guys had said all night, this was a very close race. Everybody was looking at the polls all night long to see if Josh Burkeen would pull through. And he did, like you guys said, with about 52% of that vote, which is amazing. So he just had his victory speech here a couple of minutes ago, and he just said that he wanted to thank God for all of this. That was the number one, of course. He said this is God first. He felt like he was called to do this position and filed just right a couple of hours before he was supposed to uh, back a couple of months ago. Uh, but again, he had said that uh, along with God, this was thanks to all the volunteers he had that spent hours getting on the road, campaigning for him, knocking on doors. Uh, Josh Burkeen, like you guys said, had been in the state Senate. He served from about 2010 to 2018. He is a fourth generation rancher and he has a trucking business here in Oklahoma. So he says he truly understands what it means to have good, strong Oklahoma values. And he says that he wants to bring those values to Washington now that he will serve as a congressman there. He says that includes stopping that unnecessary spending and promoting those values that he supports, like traditional marriage, pro-life, those sort of things. And he does say it's time to hold politicians accountable from every party, Republican, Democrat. He says that the unnecessary spending and the unnecessary back and forth has got to stop. So take a listen to what he told us a little bit earlier in the night. People know that it's, it's uh, party politics uh, runs the day in Washington, D.C. And so uh, I was mentored by Tom Coburn. I think the people of Oklahoma's 2nd Congressional District remember his representation. It was to go up there and call balls and strikes. And when Republicans are overspending and they're living outside their means, and you have to have someone that's saying, hey, we, we can't just blame other party when we're doing it ourselves. And again, Burkeen says this is just the beginning. He says he's ready to get to work. So the next step, of course, in November is to go against the Democratic nominee, Naomi Andrews, and independent Ben Robinson in the election in November. Live in Durant, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma's own News on Six.